hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well exams are very near my dear friend so i am taking here the most important questions and topics so that you will find some easiness in the m series over here right uh, so next topic as already in the previous lecture we have discussed about uh, what we call the mclaren series right so i hope you have practiced some lot of questions over there and i have sent the notes uh, in the telegram group also if you have not joined yet the telegram group i will just provide that link in the description box you can join there okay and also i will provide the link of the previous lecture if you have not seen yet so uh, let us discuss uh, first of all you should know what are indeterminate forms over here suppose my dear friends i am taking here the functions two functions one is the f of x and another one is g of x these are the two functions if uh, these two functions have the limits uh, which cannot be determined so that is uh, suppose i will take here. so 0 by 0 i have taken here one limit it, if it is the limit so as you already know 0 by 0 it can't be defined anything divided by 0 is not defined so next one is suppose infinity upon infinity it is another indeterminate form and next one suppose i will take infinity plus infinity when you add the infinity to an, uh, infinity you cannot get some value over here same wise infinity minus infinity zero into infinity and uh, suppose zero raised power zero one raised power infinity okay these are some indeterminate forms so uh, on this basis there will be some questions you have to use uh, you have to use uh, sorry l hospitals method okay so let us start with the uh, example over here suppose i will uh, tell you first of all the general formula of uh, this l hospitals rule suppose if we have given limit x tends to a and f of x divided by g of x it should be in the form of 0 upon 0 or infinity upon infinity it depends upon so if this is the first function uh, uh, suppose uh, these are the two functions it has indeterminate limits over here right so this i will call the first equation okay now according to l hospital what the l hospital rule suggests is that you have to differentiate f of x and g of x separately suppose i will just differentiate this function you know already what uh, what is the differentiation of f of x if you already if you don't know so don't worry about my dear friends uh, you can just write down the differentiation of f of x as f dash of x okay when you differentiate any function general function f of x is equal to f dash of x so uh, uh, sorry g of x can be written as g dash of x okay so i can write here f dash of x is equal to g dash of x okay if you again get this form 0 upon 0 so you have to again differentiate this particular function so limit x tends to a remains the same so next you have to go through limit x tends to a again different again you have to differentiate if you are getting this value 0 upon 0 you have to differentiate again this function so that will be denoted by f double dash of x that is double differentiation and g double dash of x over here right if you again get the same value then you have go through another differentiation over here suppose triple differentiation that is limit x tends to a f triple dash of x divided by g triple dash of x over here so if you get some constant value k value so then we can say that this uh, with the use of l hospital method we get the value specific value that is determinate okay let us solve some example by which you can easily understand okay suppose uh, dear friends the problem is uh, limit x tends to 0 sin x by uh, sin x by x if you just put this x value in this particular function okay when you just put a uh, sin 0 upon 0 that is it is in the form of uh, 0 upon 0 that is indeterminate form okay i hope you are getting my point this is indeterminate form over here that is 0 by 0 when you just put the value of x now, but uh, according to l hospital's rule what we have to do we have to differentiate this function until we get the uh, k value or the uh, some constant value we should get that uh, on that basis we can solve that particular problems these particular problems right so let me um, use l hospital rule over here using l hospital rule so what that suggests that is limit x tends to 0 we have to differentiate these two functions separately suppose this is f of x this is g of x these are the two different uh, two different functions one is the trigonometric function another one is algebraic function right so we can just write uh, the differentiation of sin x you already know i i hope that you will be knowing th uh, those formulas sin x differentiation is cos of x and what is the differentiation of x that is one over here right so you have to just put now the limit value that is x uh, tends to zero so you have instead of x you have to put zero so this will become cos of x instead of x you have to take zero upon one what is the value of cos of zero 
that is one over here so one by one is one you are getting now k value so this is the solution of this particular from uh, problem with the help of l hospital so it is very simpler one my dear friends only you need to focus on uh, what you have to do only the differentiate differentiation part is what there which is very simpler one so let us take another another example so another example i have taken here limit x tends to 0 tan x by x so first of all you should put uh, simply the value of x is equal to 0 let us see it is it in the form of indeterminate over there or not so when you just put the value of 0 tan 0 upon 0 that is it is also not defined it is in the form of uh, 0 upon 0 which is equal to 0 by 0 so that means it is indeterminate form so when we put uh, just use when we use just l hospitals rule l hospitals rule what we have to do we have to differentiate okay limit x tends to 0 differentiation of tan of x what is the differentiation of tan of x you should know these type of uh, differentiations my dear friends you have to remember these so sex to care x is the differentiation of tan x okay what is the differentiation of x that is one over here right now you have to put down the values uh, this x value you have to put here now we ca i can write sex to care of 0 divided by 1 okay which will be equal to what is the value of sec 0 if cos uh, 0 is also 1 sec 0 is also 1 just because these two are opposite cos uh, the opposite of cos is sec and the uh, opposite of sine is cosec like that when you just uh, put the value of cos 0 that will come 1 and also sec 0 is also 1 over here so it will be 1 square upon 1 which will be equal to 1 so you are getting key constant value here now no need to go for again the l hospitals rule so until you get the constant value up to that you have to use the l hospitals rule i hope this is clear to you so do let me know in the comment section if you are understanding so in the next video i will just solve some meet you important questions for, uh, on this particular method over here thank you for watching my video